Chapter 5, Mishnah 3. Rabbi Ishmael says three other matters are to be counted among the disputes in which the more lenient rulings are from Beis Shammai and the stricter rulings are from Beis Hillel. The first dispute deals with the rabbinic decree imposing Tuma on hands that touch a scroll of scripture. The book of Kohelis, Ecclesiastes, does not transmit Tuma to the hands that touch it because it is not considered part of scripture according to the words of Beis Shammai. But Beis Hillel say Kohelis does transmit Tuma to the hands that touch it because it is considered part of scripture. The second dispute concerns mechatas, the special water sprinkled on a person or utensil to purify them from corpse tuma. Ordinarily, mechatas transmits tuma to a person or utensil who touches it. Beis Shammai and Beis Hillel disagree as to whether this rule applies to drops of mechatas that have already been sprinkled. Mechatas that have already accomplished their mitzvah, i.e. they were sprinkled on a tame person or utensil to purify him, as required by the Torah. Beis Shammai consider the sprinkled drops tahor, since they have fulfilled their purpose and are no longer fit to be used again for sprinkling. Thus, if Mechatas was sprinkled on someone for purification, and some drops drip from his body onto a Tahor person or utensil, that person or utensil does not become Tame. But Beis Hillel consider the drops Tame even after they have been sprinkled on a Tame person or utensil. Food Tuma and the laws of Miser apply only to foods eaten by humans. The third dispute centers on whether a certain plant is considered a food for humans. Ketzach, a black seed used to flavor bread, that came into contact with Tuma. Beis Shammai consider it Tahor because it cannot be eaten by itself. But Beis Hillel consider it Tame because it is used to flavor bread. In their view, this gives Ketzach the status of human food, thus making it able to become Tame. And similarly, Beis Shammai and Beis Hillel have this disagreement in regard to the laws of Miser, which also apply to human food. Beis Shammai exempt Ketzach from Miser since it cannot be eaten by itself, whereas Beis Hillel maintained that it is subject to Miser, since it is used to flavor bread.